Alright guys, welcome back. We just killed the mini boss of this area, and now we are free to explore the water. If you thought the level was big before, <laughs> just you wait until we get underneath the water. Okay, start off, there's a item right here. Bulging coin purse, and there's that nice old lady that we talked to earlier. to be going to the palace. Yes. If you are, you should take the back path. Nowadays, it's underwater, but there is a large cave you can take to get there. Only, I hear the great carp now sleeps there. Why are you helping me? The gates to the palace have been closed for a long time now. I have a very important task I must tend to, but I couldn't possibly do it with this body of mine. Might you open the door to the palace, young man? Now again, I have... Alrighty. She wants us to find the back path, which is right here. A little underground cavern. The game is silent on when they actually flooded it, but... Clearly, it was probably sometime when she was a child. So, uh, I don't know if there was a... Maybe there was a civil war that happened here. I don't know, because the Okami eventually did leave this place and resettle. The, the Valley Shrine and things like that. And the Serpent Valley, so... Obviously, uh, something bad happened here. But you can see when we get underwater. This whole area is just flooded. Lump of grape wax. That is the cave. We're gonna go there later though. There's a lot we can explore. Treasure carp scale. Treasure carp scale. And treasure carp scale. A lot of scales and a lot of carp here. Oh, I got away. Bastard. Hold on. Let's get back into the, the tall grass. I'm not sure where he respawns. Try again. This part can be a little annoying. You gotta really gotta work on finding where the spawn spots are. Like right there. Got him. And we're right back at the start. I don't know how that missed, but... Yeah.
as well. You got the man eating carp you gotta worry about. Hold on. Got him. Didn't take any more than one hit to kill them, but it could be a little bit annoying to hit sometimes. It's a carp that direction. Red lump. There should be three items, I think. Or maybe two. Attack him this way. Dive deeper. Got him. Grave wax, I believe, right here. top layers let's go down bottom now there'll be another underwater headless with a ghost headless we'll have to fight down there there we go Pressure. 
precious bait. And I forgot an item. Another precious bait. Okay. I don't have any, um... Uh, hold on a second, maybe I should apply some uh, Divine Confetti before heading down there. The game won't let you apply it when you're underwater. Oh. Oh, I guess not. Alright, let's go fight them. about halfway dead, so if I could just finish him off, the other headless would be really easy. Lock on, don't fail me now. stops casting that because I can't attack him until he stops. <laughs> I 
get it. Ooh. Yashiriku Spirit Ball. Let's go and take a look at that. So you have Ungu Spirit Ball, which is just a a reusable spirit well, spirit emblem version of the Ungo Sugar. And then we have Yashiriku Spirit Fall, which is Fallen Headless Spirit of Yashiriku. Briefly sac sacrifice max vitality and posture while great, gaining a large attack power boost. Consume spirit emblems to use repeatedly. Headless are the rune form of corrupted warriors. And this brave soul's twin was lost in Utero. He may not have fallen. He may not have fallen to the palace nobles had his sibling been at his side. I wonder what Udaro is. Eh, oh well. And finally down here. Treasure crop scale. Treasure crop scale. Prayer bead. Now we have four of them, and then uh, we got this right here. So this is basically like the skeletal remains of one of the of one of the giant giant carps. We have one that's still alive. This is a dead one. We have parasites that are feasting on its bone, and dissolving it. it. Happens in real life, actually. It happens to whales. It's actually pretty cool to watch. Alrighty. I do believe that is it. Oh, oh. There is something I missed. Light coin burst. I do believe that is it for underwater. Let's go ahead and uh, get past the giant carp now. This next part can be a bit of a pain. Now we make a bad dash for it. Don't think we can make it. Oh, we did. That actually went fairly smoothly. A lot of times it, that can be pretty rough. He has killed me a number of times, but I'll take it. Here we are. Idol, and now we can pursue our prayer beads. Ninth prayer necklace. Robert's father came from afar across seas to the south in search of the undying. Repelling a thousand blades was a small price for the blessing of rejuvenation. Very sad story. 
basically he thought he was saving his son and not realizing that that the priest had already killed him because back back when we fought him and he yells Robert he's thinking he's failed his son but his son has already has already passed there be a bunch of nobles luckily they're not the flute type so I do find it interesting that they're not uh, weak to stop tomorrow, but whatever. Gourd seed, the final gourd seed. Sekiro's eyes glow a little bit in dark places. I don't know if y'all have noticed that. to it. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to do this part. anyway but we're aiming for this tree right here dogs underneath. Sugar. a really good farming spot by the way. Let's come off the back stabbing. 1200 XP. Here we have another idol. Let's go and talk to the woman again. Let her know that the 
palace doors have been opened. You don't have to talk to her, but you can let her know. Nowadays, and I oh, I guess not. Now and I Pardon me. Well, I guess we just head back. Actually, let me check something. Let me see if I can get a last light weapon. This temple Not enough fulminated mercury crap. That sucks. Well, I've pretty much gotten everything I can. Like I can get leaping flame, but there's no point, it's useless. It's a terrible prosthetic. Because it, it uses uh, two spirit emblems instead of one. So it's really not useful. Ah, damn it. Hey, don't be afraid. Alright, might as well head back. No, oh, wait. I went to the wrong one. No. Well, actually, now that I'm here, I can always cover the farming spot real quick. This is a good farming farming spot. You just start from this this idle. Jump over here. Go a quick little dash. Backstab. Just like that. That's the farm. Super easy, so it's a nice little little quick spot to uh, farm uh, farm XP if you need it. Let's go to Palace Grounds real quick. We'll see uh, quite the scene. You, you beasts! You tricked him all this time. Nobility, this and eternity, that pretty lies to fool him. Give him back. Poor woman. So, I, the way she talks is weird because she looks old, but the way she talks is almost like a little girl. So, what I'm thinking is she must have been enfeebled by these things. They stole her youth. And they've basically been using her father as a slave. And he's that big giant that we saw earlier that I haven't talked to yet that's feeding that, the massive carp. So, yeah. Kind of interesting there. Yeah. Let's go on 
and talk to him now. We might as well cover this in this episode. Yeah, maybe not. There is a quest, another quest line that we have to complete. Um, Alright guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode off here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.